so again lock on to you this time uh, this is what I see as being you know the long distance version of this concept of a gravity elevator ah. race okay um, and effectively it will start at the frozen forest end that <laughs> now um, you will notice that this is hollow that's why this is only 690 bytes no kilobytes which is tiny for something like this and uh, to be honest for what it's being used for I'm probably just going to erase Perfect. everything underneath there it's just going to take less time so that's cool um, and it's interesting how it's done it because it's kind of left some of the caves and what's the other that's totally cool. flipped one of my blocks you want to take a look through the water oh you've got some interesting oh that's interesting I wonder why it got rid of that take a look through the water Oh, we've got some interesting. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder why it got rid of that. Did I was going to see the interesting things. Ice. Not sure why it's done that, but there's no floor in some places. Oh. <laughs> I think Smedit's hmm. just sort of gone. Ah. <laughs> nah, that's not. Oh no, it's water. There's water. Oh, there. that's interesting. Yeah, it's it's the, ah. obviously this is where the water stopped, <laughs> and it considered the next layer to be hollow. Yeah. But there's a few places like over here. I mean, I suppose they could be chunk errors. You just don't know. From from that. Well, from I am riding on Cambod, so I think that's okay. So what we're going to do is obviously put the gravity pad up this end, just like the last one. Um, the gravity ah. pad's not that difficult to set up, and yeah, and I will just take you along the route, which is obviously along these trees. And I'm going to go over yeah. this desert. Well, it's a kind of expensive long. desert. Looks even better when you're going over in a spiral. <laughs> Whoa, okay, and I think that's the end there. And then obviously turn around and go back. Wow, this thing's a lot bigger. Yeah, it's at least a thousand meters long. Alright, so. let's uh, fall a kilometer. <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah, it has a race. I'm trying to think of a way to turn this into something. Any ideas, the other? Sucker. You know. Yeah. And I do too, actually. You can cut a lot of corners just by copying people. I mean, I wouldn't say copy me. Uh, well, it wasn't so much uh, me editing this thing. It was the software having problems on its own. Oh, okay. Like, uh, Vegas just wouldn't render anything, so I had to get Premiere. But in order to get Premiere, I had to jump through a bunch of hoops and then copy the crack I had from uh, yeah. After Effects and whatnot. Mm. It was... A lot of fun. <laughs> hmm. I think that the core is a little bit faster because it can accelerate a bit. Because I can well, catch it up. Well, it can accelerate can, a bit. I can but catch stopping up with Whoa, Yeah, yeah. I'm going back, baby. I mean, maybe if the Cambot rammed into the wall, it just stopped. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> I might as well. Oh no! Try and get low. Try and get low. Oh. <laughs> Gotta go through the middle of the trees. Coming back. Ooh, that's the kind of message saying the transition from a sector disoriented you. Oh no, you know what that means. <clears throat> <laughs> We're um, crossing a sector boundary. But it still works, <laughs> right? <laughs> Thanks, Gina. Yeah. Whoa, Somehow. yes, I managed to keep the speed. Oh, the car is kind of faster initially. The sector boundary for me is uh, behind the wall over here. Oh, oh yeah, it is. Right. Sure, right there, are we? I must have just passed over there with you, and then it came up when I turned on my HUD. It probably... Oh, I lost my speed boost. Aw. Oh yeah, yeah, we're fully in the sector. Hmm. Just barely within the sector boundaries, that's great. Just barely. <laughs> oh, too slow. <laughs> you lose. Uh, I think I'm bouncing if I fall backwards whilst looking down. He actually doesn't go down. He kind of... Oh, there. Skips? Wait. 
Oh no. Bye. <laughs> you guys just <laughs> flew over like a bunch of planes. Rawr. Yeah, so this this is this is did you see why the smaller one would work better for a mini game, but this could be adapted for so much more? Yeah. This yeah. is a large game. Mm. <laughs> Look, yo, I'm right behind you, LB. Did you see me, bro? Goodbye! Oh my goodness. Hey, look, come on, mate. Oh, we've got... Yes! Come on, mate. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh! Midair! <laughs> now, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> We're having a duel. Oh, God. <laughs> the whole thing. Come on, Yelby, you can do it, mate. Uh, where's he going? Is he leaving the arena? Oh, no, 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 watch out for the tree. I'm leaving the arena. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I got defeated. I'm always on the opposite balance. Whoa. Well, that works. Oh god! Okay. <laughs> so yeah. More silly things that you can do with Starmate. It really is your imagination that's the limit. Yeah. Oh, like I couldn't have back. thought of this or I'll tell you that. No? Uh, well, I might have been able to think of it, but I wouldn't have been able to do it. I have no idea how to use SM Edit. Right. Well, I must admit, you know, some people are like, you know, quite on the fence about, about Smedic, because obviously it does make certain things a lot easier. And it can make people lazy as well with building. But, mm. for the purposes of like expanding what we have to play with, because I always thought it was great for making props for Machinima. Props? But, yeah, you know, like say you want a Star Trek ship for your Machinima. You don't have to spend mm. six months building it. You can just go and convert it and spend a day painting it. You know? Yeah, Depends how serious, you know, because I'm saying, like, for a machinima, you really want to just do your script and shoot it, don't you? Mm, I don't so want to mess around with the rest of it. Yeah, so the ships are really just a prop for continuity. You know, oh, this is the ship, and we can fly it around. Oh, and he's gone, right, I'm going to try and catch up with Yelby in my core. <laughs> run, run! I am overtaking mm. him now. Oh, yeah, um, Tamino, have you ever had problems with viewers not being able to view your stream? Like one or two just can't load it? Um, yes, and it's usually because their internet connection has issues. Like reset their ah. router. I usually tell them to reset their router. It's not always that, but that's what it usually is. Right. Just going from when I used to stream a lot on uh, Twitch before. It's a lot better yeah. than it used to be though. A lot better. So there it is. Another mini game. Not so mini. It's a large game. I'm gonna see if I can get a nice pass of. Huh. 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 Use my advanced filming techniques to track Yelby <laughs> in mid foot. Oh! <laughs> advanced building. Go! Uh, <laughs> the wow. giant white dot. <laughs> yeah, he this is, is a white gone. dot. He's a white dot now. I'm not even. Right, I'm catching up with him now. Huh! Breaks! Oh, yummy! Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to see what I'm doing with my head. Oh, crash! I crashed. <laughs> right, I'm going to go backwards. It's probably be a bit easier. Here he comes. He's camp on it. Here he comes. He's like, he's like, is it a bird? No, it's Yelby. <laughs> and muzzles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So then, where's the core for this beast? Ah, there it is. Right then, guys. Prepare to have some more fun. 